Okay, this is Cameron. I'm here in Shanghai at the Analogix uh, Summit 2003. I'm here with um, Adam, and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about Analogix and then um, some of the products here that they have. But first, um, Adam, uh, please tell us a little bit about your company. So I'm from uh, Analogix Semiconductor. So we're a semiconductor company, but what we're presenting today is a new standard called SlimPort. And what SlimPort does, it takes uh, what it, it, uh, it takes the display port that you use in your PC, like in your game PC, it takes that same display port and we are able to take that technology and put it into a mobile device like a cell phone or a tablet. It's so this is all based on the same type of display port technology that you'll find on a graphics card. And now we, we take that display port, we put it into the phone and we're able to output uh, very high quality video to different displays. Okay, so we have, a, we have an LG device here, and then uh, here we have a Google Nexus 4. So um, I think what we've got here is this, this is going from micro USB over the slim port cable, and how is that connected to this? to this screen. What yeah. what connector is it using? So, so what it's doing here. So again, we've got the SlimPort connector like you mentioned, it's micro USB. Most phones now only have want one connector. And so what we're able to do is have that one connector carry the regular USB traffic when you plug it into the computer. It can charge the phone, and in this case, it's connected to a standard display port monitor. So, this is this is a passive display port cable. So we have the phone uh, with a slim port connector or with a micro USB connector. We plug in a passive display port cable. It's connected to a standard display port monitor and it just connects. Okay. So um, correct me if I'm wrong here, but uh, there, there is a, at the moment, you, uh, SlimPod is still a new technology. Um, there are a few devices currently selling on the market, such, such as the Nex Nexus 4. Um, you cannot, uh, I just want to make it clear, you cannot just buy a slim port cable and plug it into any device with a micro um, USB port. The device itself must have um, the slim port IC um, built into the, into the device. Um, and then you get one of these slim port accessories, which is, um, I think it's this one. Uh, yeah, this is, this is the packaging. So it's a slim port. Um, HD TV cable, you can see it here. Um, and I understand these are on sale already at the moment. Um, so it'll connect obviously from here. This is a micro USB from your device, such as the Google Nexus 4, and then into your DisplayPort monitor. There are also, um, if we come over here, there is also HDMI, which is, uh, is it HDMI adapter. This, oh, this, sorry, this is a HDMI adapter. Right, so again, this is micro USB, so it'll plug into your compatible slim port device. Um, and then of course here, it, it converts to HDMI, and then you just run your standard um, HDMI cable into your HDMI um, display. So if we move over, um, we have the Fujitsu um, tablet here. This is running Windows 8, of course, as you can see. Um, now, is this... How, how, is, how is this one working? How is this one connect up? How, what SlimPot product uh, is featured where in this setup? Yeah, so, so this is really good because this is a good example because with Windows 8, w one of the tasks is you want to be able to use things as a tablet or use it as a, as a PC. Now, in this case, it's docked. And, and docked, if you take a look at the back here, uh, there, there's a HDMI connector. And if you, if you can see it, there's some USB ports in the back. Yes. So I could put up a keyboard or a mouse. Um, potentially, I could put up a uh, Ethernet connector and use use this as a display for my PC. Now, how does SlimPort fit in? SlimPort, you know, we what you saw with the phone, SlimPort was used on a micro USB connector. But in this case, SlimPort is just the dock connector. So we're using we're running the SlimPort uh, protocol through this connector here. Now, uh, as, a, um, as a user, I can take this and I can, uh, if I dock it, I can use, use my uh, tablet as a computer on a big screen. Alternatively, if I, I can then take this to, let's say, a customer site. I pop open the side, 
and there is a USB connector. Yes. So now I can, this also has slim port on here. I can take one of these accessories, maybe the VGA one, connect it to here, and then, and then use it as a projector, and connect it up to a projector. Cool. Okay, and then um, I, we move across here, we have an Azus product here, the pad phone. Can you tell us a little bit about this setup and how it uses SlimPod? Yeah, so, so this is actually a, a kind of a fun product. Um, so this is the, this is the, the Asus pad phone. And what you see here, it looks like a regular tablet, a uh, regular Android tablet, but really it's being, everything's being run from this phone. So when you unplug it, it's a phone. When you dock it into, really this is just a display plus a battery, it becomes a tablet. Now, SlimPort is used, again, here is a micro USB connector. SlimPort is, is passed through here. And so this connects, docks right into the tablet in the back, plug it in, and now you have a full tablet experience. Okay. So if you just have the phone, you could take, take the phone and plug it into, uh, a, again, one of G's accessories. And then you could have you could have the display come out onto the big screen, like, Straight away, like here. No delay. Now, okay. So talking about this, the display, I think it's important. We haven't spoken about the resolutions that are supported. You know, of course, we have 1080p and others. What type of um, resolution um, does SlimPort support? So SlimPort today supports 1080p resolution at 60 hertz. I mean, this is really what you need if you want to play games. So what we have here, what we're actually showing a, a game. Now, this is a very simple game here. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to try playing it while talking okay. about it. But basically, <coughs> uh, here's a company called Green Throttle, one of our partners. They, they use our SlimPort technology on the Nexus phone to develop the, their games. And the reason for that is gamers are expecting 1080p, 60 hertz. And in this case, uh, with the Green Throttle technology, I can, um, I can put this, connect this up to my TV, to my big screen TV using SlimPort. I can sit on my couch with a controller, actually with multiple controllers with different friends, and play together. So this is all based on a phone I may already have with games I already own. Okay. So really it's about, would you agree, it's really about um, getting more out of the mobile device. Yeah, this is this is this is one of the big ideas behind um, SlimPort, right? And this is one of the, at the summit here today. This is what we've what we heard about making people use their smart devices for um, consumption, right? Entertainment, but it's really SlimPort's really about helping um, making the device more productive, right? I mean, you know, what we're seeing really, I and mean, people have been talking about this in the industry, is that you know your, your smartphone is becoming a PC in your pocket. On one hand here, we've got a game console type of situation. With, with the tablet there, um, we've got, we've got a bit ability to use it as a PC. Um, with the Optimus Pro here, with this LG Optimus Pro, I mean, we're connecting it up to, to a VGA projector. So you can use it for, for business purposes, you can use it for entertainment purposes, you can w watch videos with it. I, really, we're making use of the phone you already have. And, and SlimPort is, is built into these devices currently, the LG Optimus G Pro, the Google Nexus 4, the uh, Asus Pad Phone, the Fujitsu um, Eros tablet, and so there's a lot of other products coming down the pipeline. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, Adam, thank you very much for your introduction. Um, we actually have a full review. Anthony, our mobile device editor, is working on a review. He has actually been sent these um, products. So do stay tuned to Tweaktown over the next two to three weeks. We'll have our full review of this product online. Uh, but for now, I hope you've in, uh, enjoyed this introduction. And uh, come back again soon um, for more video content from Tweaktown. Thanks for watching.